Hi, I'm a driving instructor of 21 years and in a minute I'm going to try and tell you as many reasons as I possibly can why people fail the controlled stop. It used to be called the emergency stop, it's called the controlled stop. If somebody doesn't brake promptly enough um, and they cover too much ground, they're going to fail. It is. It used to be called the emergency stop. You've got to show the examiner that you can save somebody's life with the way that you brake, so you stop quick enough. In the same breath, you can't lose control when you brake. So if you brake way too fast and the ABS goes off and you skid and your sleer steering goes all wrong and your hair goes forward, uh, that's not very controlled. So you're gonna fail for that. Uh, don't brake the speed limit when he's released you to do the emergency stop. Careful of your speed. Make sure that you're following all the rules of the road. If you overtake a parked car, make sure you go back to the left so you are on your side of the road when you do the emergency stop. After the emergency stop, do all of your observations. God, everybody always forgets that. Make sure that you do all your all-round observations and make sure that your handbrake has got nothing to do with your stop. Stop with the foot brake and the clutch, not the handbrake.